Hey y'all, it's your girl Bree. If you didn't know, now you know, and I'm back again with another YouTube video. Okay, so as y'all can see from the title today, I wanted to give y'all a video about the life before and after graduation. Everybody's asking the same thing. How does it feel now that you've graduated? Like, what have you been up to? It feels the same. Like, it feels the same, but it feels different. Listen, originally, I wanted to give y'all like a vlog of my first week of the, the my last semester and give y'all that vlog but i still got the videos so let's get into that Tonight, there's a concert on campus. I'm excited. Anyway, let's figure out what I'm going to wear. So I got this one. It say, Lord, protect us while we get this money. Amen. Amen. This shirt is hard. The problem is the shoes, y'all. The shoe options. I got shoes, but shrinkage is something else. I actually got shoe options. <laughs> Did you say messy? just make this work hello this is nick so hey we're going to uproar this is the fit that i chose i told y'all it would look right together and this is the purse and i did the claw clip style and we ready to go we're gonna give it to the girls her let's go <laughs>
y'all. He sang over and then it was over. Call me on stage, but that's okay. That's okay. He was singing in his dream. And that's all, period. But I was outside that first week. Like, there was events on campus and I was going because I was like, this is my last semester. I'm trying to have a good time. And I sure did. I did that. The most random thing, y'all, I ended up being in a short film. Oh my God, and then what happened? <laughs> what the heck? Hold on. Oh my goodness, look at my fucking face, bro. Oh my God. Dance, what's wrong? Don't you see my face? <laughs> At least you're still pretty. Oh my God. But once we finished it, it ended up being a really good, like, a really good vibe. And honestly, that's a crazy memory to have from college. But yeah, so I did that. And again, I ended up being outside. <laughs> Nixel. Bitch, everything. semester basically like it was a lot going on the mental breakdowns was crazy and then you graduate and people are like so what's next are you gonna go back to school go back to school for what if I go back to school somebody needs to slap me the mental battles that I was having to finish school I really don't see myself trying to go back so I would be lying if I said it was all fun or whatever because it was not it was a lot of complaining on my part. It was a lot of stress, a lot of tears, a lot of just waiting for it to be over, waiting for it to get better. And I feel like that did kind of take away from me enjoying it sometimes. So I did have to like pause and try to take those moments to really enjoy it, like really understand like this is a big deal to accomplish something like that. And yeah, so after graduation, I made it my purpose to enjoy and celebrate so of course graduation was the first week of may so you know your girl had to go out for cinco de mayo had to do that so i went out for cinco de mayo and cinco de mayo won so that was that was the beginning of my summer and then y'all i saw a burner boy this is the summer after graduation this is like a big deal because I graduated undergrad I didn't get a big like oh my god because COVID hit but I know that I need to still take my moments and enjoy it even if I'm not where I want to be even if I'm still trying to figure things out I still have to enjoy these moments because I'm only gonna be this young and turned like now back to burner boy though let me tell y'all how that happened okay originally i was supposed to go to afro nation well i was talking about going to afro nation i ended up buying a ticket because i was like long story short y'all i ended up getting a ticket for the free ski vip too shout out to my cousin and i was up close and i saw burner boy <laughs>
life after get, graduation needs to give. It needs to give celebration. It needs to give enjoying life. We made it through the stress and the hardships and the letdowns and the depression and all of that. Now it's like you made it through, let's celebrate. So yeah, I wanted to give y'all a little bit of that about my life before and after graduation. You know, what I was up to because I wasn't keeping up with the vlogs enough. I really wanted to make this video because I know there's a lot of people like me that graduated and they still trying to figure it out. And you have those people that are asking you, so what's next? So what are you doing next? What's your plan? But the thing is, just because you have this degree doesn't mean that you have it figured out yet. And that's not to downplay your degree, that's just being honest. So that's how life is going after graduation. Every day is a different vibe. Some days I feel discouraged. Some days I'm like, girl, you will be okay. But what I plan to do is keep having a good summer and really just make that reflect in my life moving forward. That it just doesn't have to be just a period of time where I'm like, let me celebrate and have fun. And then, you know, like all work and no play. Hmm. That's all I got for y'all. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.